So the recent increase in fares that was afforded to public passenger vehicle operators is now proving to work against the government's ability to reduce inflation. So as a result, they are now trying to fix the very problem that they created by doing this. Effective January 1st, 2024, the reduction in the regular fare from $100 to $70 and a reduction in the fare for children from $30 to $25 and for pensioners from $40 to $30. But wait, it's not done yet as four months later, there will be another reduction. Effective April 1st of 2024, a further reduction in the regular fare from $70 to $50 and in the fear for children from $25 to $20. This is being done according to Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark to reduce the cost of living. But as you all know, there is no such thing as a free meal. This staggering temporary reduction in JUTC fear will cost the government and by extension, the overly taxed taxpayers a whopping $1 billion. Now, as a member of the Walking Foot Association, I certainly welcome this reduction be just 24 months. But this current JUTC service is not it. The capacity of the JUTC right now is around 35%. Way, way below average. So I know, of course, that most of you are visual learners. So I'm going to try to help you to comprehend what I'm trying to say. This is the amount of commuters who currently use the various um, transportation system in Jamaica on a daily basis. And this is the available JUTC buses that are functional and working presently. Compounded, of course, by the dirt tracks we call roads. But fear not, friends, more buses are coming in 2024-2025 hopefully. But like I said, this is not a political ploy. It's worse. They are trying to fix a problem that they have created. As it turns out, the 19% fear hike in October and the 16% increase to come in April 2024 will push up the cost of living as it would impact the inflation outside the Bank of Jamaica target range by 4 to 6%. Given that the cost of transportation services comprises a notable portion of the consumer price index basket, the Bank of Jamaica further advises that the announced increases in PPV fares cumulatively could add approximately two percentage points to inflation if not balanced by countervailing measures. And this, like I said, will cost Jamaicans one billion. Dollars.